this is the fifth, sixth, sorry, um, tutorial from Nano Loop 2, and I'm going to do my level best to try and explain some of the FM capabilities that Nano Loop has. I don't actually understand FM that well, so I'm going to link to a rather good tutorial on Sonic State in the comments. But the way that FM works is that you have a waveform that makes a noise and you have another waveform that you kind of mash together with the original one that changes how the original waveform sounds. Um, the original waveform that produces the sound is called the carrier. The waveform that you mash into it to kind of alter the sound is called the modulator. But it's basically a kind of if that's too complicated, just think of it as like a weird voodoo way of changing your sound. Um, this is Nano Loop. Oh, sorry, we're going to use some fairly high-pitched sounds because it's a little difficult to set to hear the difference that FM's making on lower-pitched sounds, especially on this crappy little camera microphone. So this is Nano Loop making a nice, pure little tone there. Press select. You can probably see on the synthesis section we've got our filter. If you want to just remind yourself what it does. Move it around a little bit. Changes the type of filter. Move it back to the bottom left. Hold down B and press L. You probably can't hear anything, but you've noticed that the um, little icon has changed to an equal sign. Press select again. If you move the pitch up a little bit, you can probably hear a fairly high-pitched, very, very pure tone. The vertical axis here controls how much our modulator is affecting the carrier. At the moment, it's all the way down, so as far as I can work out, <laughs> um, it's not affecting it at all. If you hold down B... Actually, let's copy and paste a few of these so we can hear it a bit easier. I'll just turn the envelope down. Sorry, reduce the length of the envelope slightly. There you go. Okay, back over to synthesis. Hold down A, press up. As we start to use the modulator to affect the carrier more, you can hear the sound change really quite dramatically, quite differently to a filter. Um, so this is basically the modulator affecting the carrier more and less. I'm going to link to a sorry, I said I'm going to link to a tutorial that's going to explain what that actually means. <laughs> um, as you move left and right, this changes the frequency of the modulator. So at the very bottom, it does nothing because the modulator isn't being used at all. If you go back to the left, press up a couple of times, we're using the modulator just a little bit. And as you move to the right, the noise changes really, really quite dramatically as we add different frequencies to our signal. Move up a little bit more, and you can hear lots of kind of metallic science fiction-y sounds as the modulator changes more. Um, this is really kind of cool on lower bass sounds. I'll just give it a try, see if we can actually hear this. So you've got a kind of classic FME bass sound there. Um, FM can be used for all kinds of different things, um, just for example, got a fairly reasonable percussion sound that you can use there. Um, on your L channels, which previously we were probably using for mainly kind of bass and lead type stuff. Um, on the L and R channels, FM is not affected by the pitch envelope um, or the LFO. So 
And let's change that back to something that actually makes a little bit more sense. So, this is changing the sound, but it's only changing the pitch. It's not actually manipulating the FM in any way. Same with LFO. It's changing the pitch, not actually manipulating the FM at all. However, um, let's remove all of these sounds, move to the S channel. Um, if you go, we're still, we're still in FM mode. Changes the sound in exactly the same way it does on L and R. However, the um, pitch and LFO, pitch envelope and LFO, sorry, will now affect the amount of modulation that we're using. So, um, let's slow it down a little bit. This is changing from modulation to not modulation kind of quickly, which gives you a kind of interesting sound. This changes the speed. So here you've got, again, kind of classic FME bass. Here you've got no modulation, so it doesn't affect the sound at all. Um, if you change to the envelope, if you move all the way to the right, the envelope changes so slowly you can't actually really hear it. Um, you make the envelope a little quicker, you can hear the modulation changing more. Um, one thing that I really, really like on Nano Loop is making the... Oh, you probably heard a little bit there. You can get some just lovely old retro bass sounds on the S channel um, by using the LFO and the pitch envelope to control the modulation. I think it's lovely. Um, the noise channel is a bit of an odd beast, actually. If you hold down B on the noise channel, you'll see it changes to an equal sign. But this isn't using FM. Um, I couldn't work out what this was actually doing, so I put up a post on the Nano Loop forum, which Oliver responded to, and he says, and I quote, BNL switches the noise to an odd frequency resulting in digital artifacts which make the sound more distorted, uh, noisy and somewhat metallic with some settings. The distortion is so dominant that there is not much difference between filtered and non-filtered mode because the filtering happens before the distortion. So this sounds kind of similar to what you might expect FM to sound like, but apparently it's not actually FM. One other interesting point, if you press start while well on the synthesis, this changes from high pass to band pass filter on L, R, and S. Here, it changes the quality of the sound very, very slightly. Um, this is still controlling the pitch, left and right. Um, and this is controlling the amount of um, is controlling the filter. Sorry, this is not controlling the pitch, this is controlling the filter. Um, and it can get, again, some quite interesting sounds, but it's not actually FM. Um, I really, really hate it when people say, just mess around with it and you'll pick it up. But I really think that FM on Nano Loop benefits from experimentation which is kind of a funny way of saying just mess around with it. Um, I've tried to explain it as well as I can. I really do think it benefits from experimentation and you can find some really, really quite interesting and appealing sounds, especially if you mix them in with some of Nanoloop's more kind of traditional synthesis options. Um, I do have a recommended track for you. Um, this is a cover by uh, Molke of The Benefit of Mr. Kite from Sgt. Peppers, and I think it's got a slightly FME kind of vibe going on, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> 